Thank you, Mrs. Burris. Two minutes. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, well, you all seem in a pretty uh, confused state to me. Uh, you don't really know what it is you actually want. You've now started to completely contradict yourselves, which I know is absolutely nothing new for this place, but, but now it's so blatant. In paragraph 34, you've called for EU gender-neutral job classifications and evaluation systems, yet in paragraph 13, you demand the introduction of binding gender quotas. So well, what is it? Jobs based on the gender of a person or jobs irrespective of the gender? Do you want to fight discrimination or don't you? In paragraph 37, you call for EU mandatory pay audits for listed companies in order to obtain gender data. You call for the introduction of sanctions at EU level that would exclude companies from procurement of goods and services financed with public subsidies. So are you saying you want the EU to block companies from using public goods, services and money if there isn't an appropriate gender balance? In paragraph 41, you call for a a reversal in the burden of proof between employer and employee. Now, are you aware this would require a complete alteration of the UK judicial system? We'll just throw away, shall we, the concept of innocent until proven guilty. And finally, in paragraph 50, you want the EU to conduct a study on the situations of working mothers, mothers who choose to stay at home and women without children who have made the choice to work. And why? To find out how each affects the labour market. It's almost as if you want to belittle those who don't conform to your view of what the role of a woman should be. Please, do something useful. Let's talk about FGM. Let's talk about forced marriage. Let's speak out about the abuses of women across the world. But please, just stop wasting all of our time.